And welcome back to round two for this House Divided campaign. This is going to be a roulette lane. It is the current server pop is 239, 116 on the CSA and 123 on the Union. Um, on the big board, this is HL uh, by Richmond, actually attacking Richmond and 9th Corps in Richmond. Um, and I'm just going to go through the commanders here because they're already live. So we've got Colonel Tommy leading 9th Corps for the U.S., 18th U.S. led by Phoenix J. Then we've got 19th Indiana led by Modal Heart. Then the NYV led by Lieutenant Parker. We've got the 83rd led by Captain Wolf and PFC Troy. And then we've got 42nd led by Captain Hood and Kilroy. And then we've also got Ricks leading the 79th. And on the guns, looks like we've got Paradox, some of the SR guys, 4th U.S. guns, Lieutenant Mattis and his guns. So we got Markham and Mattis, both are in there. And now on the CSA team, we've got Wilkes leading the HL, PB led by Legion. They're both looking very uh, healthy today, that's good. we got West Virginia, 4th West Virginia led by Colonel Lightburn, IVB led by Bilbo. And we've got Colonel Knight leading the 10th Tennessee and Major Velkine leading the MWB. Let's see, and then we've got CGH leading 20th New York and Major Canada leading the 20th Georgia. So the two 20s together. All right, so that's everybody. And let's get straight over to the action. In fact, you can see while I was doing the intro, the CSA is already starting to move out. And the Yardie is starting to answer him. It looks like the CSA is doing a full send around the barn. Yep, no units here while the Union is massed at the top of the hill. So we will see how this develops. Both teams are really massing on this. Basically, looks like they're going to mass right here. Now, the CSA may try to do a bolt down to the road there and try to take the corner fence. We will see. 19. CSA being very aggressive. They are not reconsolidating. They're going straight forward. To the right, guys. And indeed, we do have a major force here under Wilkes heading to the wall, allowing over here IBB to put down a base of fire. Looks like Lightburn is with him. But here you got uh, Wilkes has already occupied the stone wall. We Legion is coming in behind him. Knights here. Looks like the whole CSA team is moving down to the stone wall. Wow. Spread that line, spread that line, boys. Yep, that's gonna hurt. Don't feel alive, I'm still alive. Keep moving, 17th, keep moving. They gotta shoot us, crash and reload. It looks like the CSA has opted to go fully for this. Uh, corner right here. Now we do have a bit of a flank maneuver here by Parker and his guys with a few men, but he doesn't have too many men with him unfortunately. So I'm not sure how much damage he's going to be able to do those few guys, but a good positioning there. So we've got 18th US here on these rocks. Falling back! Falling back! Falling back! And the CSA has captured point. They went for the straight uh, cap, so now the Union is going to have to push them off here. And they will likely have to destroy a lot of that defensible terrain, terrain to do it with the arty. So I, I see some method in the madness. To bastardize a uh, Mr. Hamlet's quote. I think that was Polonius, though, who said the line. All right, any Shakespeare fans out there, correct me. Was it Polonius that said there's method in his madness? You didn't know you came. You you came to watch a war rights video, but no, it's a it's a lecture on a on a English literature and Shakespeare. Bonus points. What did Polonius say when he died? So right now, the CSA has done a pretty good job of securing some key terrain. Oh! Oh! 
And the Artie, I think, is going to be, the, if the Union wants to try to hold this game, it's going to come down to this Artie. I can't feel my middle leg, sir. Goddamn trees in my way. Bucky ball, Bucky ball. They're swinging left again, northeast. They're coming out on the road again. For the indestructible stone ball. Yeah, yeah, sure. When I saw a blood stain. Yeah, from what I saw from comms, uh, right side right here. You see the Union starting to rotate yeah, around onto the flank of the CSA. But if you look at the tickets right now, this even with all this Artie shots, look at that. The CSA is still ahead on tickets. Now here comes an attack, it looks like, by the 42nd coming in. But I don't know if it's going to be enough to punch through here. Oh, maybe it is. Wait a second. No, it's going to be joined by who is this? Ninth Corps is going to come in and join it. 19th did the enter in as well. I think that'll do it. They've gotten several flags down. That was key. Only one flag is up now. Retreat. Sigma, Sigma, you got our flag. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Sigma. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Pull it back. Our house. So the CSA did manage to... Oh, wait a second. Who is this? Here comes Paradox. And joined by a mix of people. NYB, 83rd. I'm seeing all kinds of people in here. Watch the right. Watch the right. They're moving right. But one flag did survive over here. On the move, on the move. Yeah, I don't think this is a sustainable position, guys. I think you have to get out of here. Okay, which one is your daddy? This seems crazy. This seems insane. Move together. Don't. That's insane. And the union has succeeded in knocking down several flags now. Although they did get at least one out, maybe two. We're seeing two on the ground right now. That's still going to hurt. Now, with all that being said, you know, the CSA did a lot of damage. And, you know, we're only at 41, and the Union is close to engage. So, you know, despite all that, all that blood, you know, it was not, I would say, a complete waste. Was oh, that is that a flag down for this? Whose flag is this? Is that a Union flag down here? No, it couldn't be. You know, I, it was a good, great counterattack by the Union, um, great preparation by the Artie, and then exploitation by the infantry. So you got some combined arms tactics there. But um, I, I don't think the CSA is in a bad place right now. Um, they just can't get discouraged. That's going to be the main thing. It's going to be hard to keep up morale, but they are not in a horrible place at the moment. Now, the main problem is the, problem is the flags down, but... Um, they might just try to slow down the battle. They have plenty of time and wait for them to respawn. That probably would be my option. I would just kind of slow down the battle. You you got time. You built that time up. 
Oh, wait Are a sec. Got a brave man here going for the flag. Can he get it? Oh, he picked it up. You need to just let him walk up and take that flag? Oh. All right, here comes the main attack. And again, looks like they're doing something very similar. They got one base of, well, they got IVB coming down this way and then the main attack this way. That will get them close to their flags. Flags on moving. Here comes the Union with that counter charge coming along that same route. I think it worked pretty well for them last time. Now, again, right now, though, CSA is a... Well, now they're slightly behind on tickets. Left, boys, left. Left, boys. Left, boys. Left, Hey, there's a rev on the hay bale. Hey, they're behind us. They're behind us. There's a rev on the hay bale. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot it out. Hey, punch it out, guys. Punch it out. Watch out. Hey, there's one in the Fuck Keep loading. Keep loading. Keep loading. Keep loading. Fuck you. We don't get loaded. Yeah. Watch our rear. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck. Take it. Take it. Guys, the enemy up and up. Watch out, boys. Here comes another Union charge. This time they're not going to let them cap. And to be frank, um, I, I wouldn't either. Um, you're not you're, you're not really behind on tickets, so you might as well just attack when you have the advantage and wipe out those flags if you can. They're running away. Good guidance there from First Sergeant Caddy. Hey, dude. Well, it looks like we got a charge over here. Parker's looking to catch a couple guys. But I think there's not too much left over here. I think the 18th US already took care of it. I'm still here, Phoenix. Uh, we'll see if he stays over here and as kind of a trip for us now. Um, let's see, it looks like once the CSA flag went down. So, uh, as far as tickets, about even. Oh, the CSA did cap. Okay, I, I, I missed that. Um, that will get the union up a little bit, but not much. Remember when we saw this house? Is that Dorsey? So we could zoom out here a little bit and you can kind of see how the uh, Union is set up. I mean, there's not too much to this map, to be honest with you. There's a couple different angles to attack. Um, really, it's about getting the maximum weight on the decisive point and trying to defeat in detail. Um, the Union already has been doing an excellent job here, but... You know, let me check and see if they might be having issues here. Let's check and look at the... Plenty of ammo. Eh, not great. Plenty. 50%. Eh, 30%. Okay. So, um... A decent rate of burn right now. Um... I wouldn't slow down. I wouldn't institute a CSR yet. 
What's a CSR Kotel? A CSR refers to a controlled supply route. The supply rate route, Jesus. A controlled supply rate. Basically, it refers to when you're doing uh, ammunition calculations. What you're going to do is, first thing you're going to do is you're going to identify what's called the RSR, the required supply rate. That is how much you need in order to sustain the operational tempo that they've set forth, whatever it is. So whatever your burn rate for ammunition is going to be usually in a DOS is usually how we no, measure it. You. A DOS is a day of supply. It's, you know, if, you, if you're talking, you know, sustainment brigade level, that's what you're really talking about here. So you figure out, okay, how much, you know, how many artillery shells am I going to shoot off in a day? Okay, that's my required supply rate, or how much I need to to sustain my operations. However, if I have a limit on my ammunition, and I say that my uh, yeah, I can't yeah, sustain yeah. it, I will institute what's called a CSR, a controlled supply rate. So basically what that will mean is that I will give you some ammo at a certain rate, but it won't be everything that you need, and it'll acknowledge that it'll be a shortfall. So then you have to put, you know, plan your prioritization of what units, what types of missions, how you're going to employ that ammunition. So that is what a CSR and an RSR is. It's very important when you start talking about operational level logistics for ammunition. Again, you got a Shakespeare. You got, you know, a, you know, a. We'll call it a field grade level education. So it's usually when you start dealing with that kind of nonsense. For sustainment operations. AP 4 0. Like, man, I just want to watch my Civil War game. What the fuck are you talking about, Kotel? I don't know. Everybody's in a big line right now, alright? <laughs> I'm just going to say it out loud. Not as much fun for me as it used to, alright? You broke me. Uh, I'm breaking character here. I, I, it's still fun to watch. I'm seeing some great charges, some great unit action, but it, it's it's less for me to analyze than I used to. So it, it's it's. But this map is, is a bit of a bit of a you know slug match anyway. So you know I can't you know completely blame this on the five second, but. Um, before they changed it, they used to spawn right on top of you. Yeah, yeah. Now they've changed it to like spawn anywhere. I think we're just really pissed at getting blown up on, on point by our So again, we're about even on tickets. 31 minutes, well, 33 minutes. Still plenty of time for the CSA. So why aren't you muting that music, Hotel? Well, because it's period music, and I'm pretty sure I won't get hit for it. And even though I do get hit, it's atmospheric, so fuck it. Now, now, interestingly enough, all four battles of the campaign so far have been in Virginia. There, we don't haven't had a um, a Western Theory of battle yet. So, it is a bit of a slugfest um, along the um, not the James. Fuck, I forget the riv river's name, but basically... Well, I mean, the James is over here. This is actually along the James. Um, this battle would technically be taking place there. But, um... Mostly Southern Virginia, between Lynchburg and Petersburg Access, is where all the action's been going on so far, this campaign. So, I haven't done my pitch yet. So, yeah, if you've seen this uh, game, you're like, what the hell is this? And you've stuck around this long, God bless you. Um, this game is called War of Rights. It is available on Steam for 30 US dollars. I highly recommend it. Oh, we got some action here, so I'm gonna stop the uh, spiel. Oh, CSA did pretty good on that. Um, I think they got the better of that. 
they basically melted Ninth Corps and uh, NYV with that. Why am I I'm not sure they're having more success over here, but some good attacks by the CSA has might have done that initial um, shot, might have given them the advantage here. We'll see if they could shoot them out. And we got a forward movement here by who is this? By Wilkes. I like this. I'm trying to turn the corner on them. And if they can start knocking down these flags and disrupting this respawn rate, they'll be in a very good position here. Yep, here comes the reinforcements. Just kind of beating them up here. So again, that initial loss has been enough to change the battle. And here comes the cascade, and it's it's all collapsing now. Flags come with me. And the CSA has occupied the uh, fence there. Oh, great. How could you miss him? Keep moving the. Come on, flags. This one, this one. Behind this, right here. Already was a flags to me. All flags to me. Already was a little bit out of position. They should have been uh, aware that this was going to happen, but they did not have their canister shots ready. And the CSA is going to make it pay for that. Oh, we have some Union down here. Who's this? Oh, 18th US. I, I think... Yo. Oh. Tisk, tisk, tisk. They were a little bit out of position. That means you're not supporting your allies. And who's moving up to meet them? Get your ass over here, 18th. No, uh, it's Hood. He's going to say, hey, come and join me. But yeah, that little imbalance, that can make the difference. He's like, oh, it's only eight guys. No, no, no. You might need those eight guys. That might be the difference between victory and defeat. Don't underestimate yourselves. But yeah, if you worked it, you see the CSA massed their entire force. And they were able to punch through. I thought it was just because they had a you know good concentration of fire, which they did, but they also had some union that was not in position. Oh, 79 was also not in position. Shame. Shame. I'm gonna ring the bell. But here comes Wolf, the madman. And the CSA has taken the hill, and this might be it for the Union, to be honest with you. They have the high ground, as uh, Anakin would say. They've gotten them down to taking losses, but they are in trouble. The CSA is likely going to be able to uh, maintain this fire. And without the um, artillery to kind of even it up, they will likely be able to outshoot the Union down to uh, breaking and then charge them off a point downhill. They've got plenty of time to do so. So a very nice attack by the CSA on that side. And a little bit of a fumble by the Union. Check. Check. Push it up, push it up, push it up. Okay. Again, my argument is you need to concentrate your fire. You need to figure out where a flag is and have everybody okay. To knock out everybody by that flag. And if you don't have a flag that you can hit, in fact, you should keep your flag as far back as possible with a couple guys to, to respawn. Or even keep them all together. Like, keep them all together. And just, you know, when you come in, just out, out you go, out you go, out you go. Kind of like an intermediate staging base. An ISB. Go tell, what's an ISB? I'm glad you asked, um, imaginary person in my head. Um, that is no sign of a, uh, cry for help. An ISB, an intermittent staging base, is a base where you basically meet up with your formations. You're, you're marrying up your troops, your equipment, your supplies before going into the theater of operations. So for those um, in more recent times, um, think of Kuwait in Iraq and Afghanistan was an intermediate staging base. You know, it's where you went, you got your equipment, maybe you did a little bit of training, you know, and it's kind of where all the supplies are kept. And kind of, you know, then you push on forward. Um, if we think in World War II, um, England was an intermediate staging base for going into um, into uh, France and beyond in that theater. 
shit, I just bought both of them. That was good concentration of fire right there. But yeah, treat your flags like an intermediate stage base. Have them all together. If you're going to be combined like this, which I think is what you need to do is in this kind of situation, keep all your logistics consolidated and protected. Even assign a unit to protect your uh, LOC, your line of communication, which is your flags. People come up, they hit T, they'll find their unit. They're smart. Yeah, right now the CSA really doesn't have to do anything. They just maintain this position. And they will be in a very good spot. Uh, Bird is on the Napoleon right over there. Again, I approve of this message here. Um, I don't know if I'm ready for the check yet. I might have dessert. I'm not sure. So it looks like the CSA is massing for a final charge. I think they're calculating that by the time they're they're done with it, they'll have the Union put on to breaking and win the match. Which is interesting um, that they're not going to go for casualties on the game board instead end the match here. That is interesting. That's why you shouldn't be open aiming, Mr. Guy. That's why you just got shot. You should be I'm trying to think on the game board if that makes sense or not, and I'm oh, hey, kind of drawing a hey, blank, but if you guys have opinions on that, um, please, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Up, so. Maybe like the video, you know, subscribe and like and all those fun things. And help me grow the channel. They gave me another road. Step in front of the firing line. I am going to clear. I want to take your head off your shoulders. Interesting move. So the Union. Oh, wow. I like this a lot. Rather than face that charge, the Union has gone to retake the guns here. Now, the, the problem is going to be, oh, it's super close, and you have some guys hanging out here that are going to be out of lines that might get you there. Oh, like this poor gentleman. Oh, and that one. Oh, those out of lines. Oh, oh and these guys over here. Oh, oh, Lord. There it is. It's on breaking, and the Union's out of position. I'm not going to lie. Those, those couple out of lines contributed to it. But the Union might be happy to end it here. We'll see. Just go for some more casualties. And end the match with a loss, but happy with whatever uh, casualties they inflicted. Yeah, they're not even going for point. They're gonna they're just accepting their fate. It's a cannon trying to get a few more shots in. They cleared out all our friendlies. Shoot anyone that's on top of the mountain. Come on, boys. Hurry, 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 hurry. Come on. 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 Come And the CSA is going to hold it, and that'll be it. A good victory by the CSA, although some nice moves by the Union. Um, they got a little bit separated there at the top of the hill, and it cost them. But um, overall, very good play by both teams. Very concentrated, um, mutually supporting, and I'm starting to see concentration of fire.
And that is what I was hoping to see. And, that, and you can see how that can cause a cascading effect if you can knock out a unit or two. And then it just rapidly all collapses on you. So That's it for me. I'll be back for HRE on Sunday. Um, I'll be going on vacation the week after, but I might be here for Friday, I hope. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you guys. Let me know what, again what you thought. Um, and I hope you all have a good weekend. It's Coattail signing off.